So today I'll talk about a Toyota with the P0368 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0368 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor B, circuit high input, bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses a camshaft position sensor to know the location of the camshaft as it spins. It uses this for timing and it's seen a problem with this, so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And sensor B is always the exhaust camshaft position sensor. So if you have a four cylinder engine, you can find the exhaust and the sensor closest to that is the sensor B. And V6 and V8 engines, they have two banks. They have bank one, which is the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that is bank two. So if you have a V6 or V8 engine, just find the number one cylinder and that'll be the side that's having the problem. And some possible causes of this, well, it could be a faulty camshaft position sensor. It could be in the wiring, like an open or a short. And possibly it could be something in the timing, like a timing belt, a timing chain, although that's not too common, but it does happen sometimes. And possibly a PCM, but again, that's kind of rare and doesn't happen too much. But it is something to keep in mind since it does happen occasionally. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the camshaft position sensor B. And there can be some differences and it's really gonna vary. It's gonna depend on the year and the engine type and things like this, the way they're located. And so if you could Google your particular Toyota and just find a diagram of it, that would be the easiest option. For example, this is a 2012 Toyota 1.8 liter engine. And as you can see, sensor B is over here. It's gonna be on the side with the exhaust. Since sensor B is the exhaust camshaft position sensor and sensor A is the intake camshaft position sensor. But first thing to do, find sensor B camshaft position sensor. And then once you locate that, the next thing to do, check out the wiring real good and be sure it's all connected and everything like this. Basically be aware that anything wrong with the wiring is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you wanna check that out and be sure that's all good. If you have a multimeter, you can also check the wiring to be sure that it's all good. And the basics of what's going on with the wiring is that the older Toyotas, they had two wires and newer ones can have four, but by far the most common is these three wire ones. And what's going on with these is when the key is in the opposition, you're gonna get power to it. And the voltage here can vary. It's usually five volts, but sometimes it could be different. It could be 12 volts, whatever it is, you're gonna get power to the circuit and you're gonna have a ground. And then you're gonna have a signal wire going back to the onboard computer. And every single time there's a piece of metal directly in front of the sensor, it sends a pulse back to the onboard computer. And so basically if you have a meter, you could check and be sure that you're getting voltage to it. And you could check out the wire going back to the onboard computer and be sure everything's connected good and things like this. One thing to be aware of when you're checking these with the multimeter is it's not to accidentally short out the connections since you can't blow a fuse if you do that. And that's another thing to keep in mind is, is that there is a fuse on this circuit. Toyotas can label this a little bit vague. It's usually the EFI fuse, but sometimes it can vary, but there's a fuse on this circuit. So that's something to keep in mind but check in the wiring for some basic things to see if it's working it's not difficult i made a video on how you could check these camshaft position sensor wiring on toyotas if you want to check that out i'll put a link in the description below but basically just be sure that wiring all looks good and that there's no issues going on there and so if you check that all out you check out the wiring that all looks good there's no blown fuses or anything like that very likely that camshaft position sensor is just failed and just needs to be replaced you can't test it if you want to there's some good youtube videos on that it's a low-cost part so most people would just go and replace it usually with toyotas after you replace it you just clear the code and you're good to go. Some vehicles do require a relearn process when you swap out these camshaft position sensors, but Toyota's pretty good about that. Usually you just swap it out, clear the code, and you're good to go. And so usually once you do that, you check the wiring and that all looks good, no blowing fuses, and you swap out the camshaft position sensor. That by far is gonna be the most common causes and fixes for a Toyota with the P0368 code. If you do do all that and you still have problems and the code comes back, or you're just having issues, then I made a video on that, on what you could do if you swapped out the camshaft position sensor and you're still having problems. Problems. I'll put a link down below for that video if you need to check that out. But usually if you swap out the camshaft position sensor, that wiring's good and there's no blown fuse, then that usually will solve the problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a real quick video on how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0368 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.